CES 2013, like any big trade show, the headlines are always about the coolest things, but some things are not always so cool. What were some of the worst things you saw at the show? The six inch smartphone from Huawei, which just doesn't make sense. I mean, there's been an increasing ramp up around smartphone developers. They feel the need that their premium phones now have to be bigger than five inches. So you have, you know, phones like the Galaxy Note 2, which is five and a half inches. Well, they put out this six inch phone, which when you hold it, it's completely unwieldy. You can't even move your hand from the top to the bottom of the screen. You can barely get your hand around it to hold like a phone. It is it is basically like having a tablet up to your face. And that's part of the phablet trend that, you know, is it a phone, is it a tablet? It's not just a, ta a phablet, it's a fan tablet. It was the most unnecessary thing I saw at CES this year. Well, Sony, oh, I cringe just to think about this. Sony had a really terrible snafu at one of their demos. Uh, so they were showing off their great OLED televisions, and they were rolling out the biggest one. The 56-inch prototype 4K and the whole thing went black and had an error message. Including this beautiful <laughs> interface screen. You hate to see that happen. Obviously, technical problems can happen in any demo, but you really don't want it to happen at CES. Surprisingly, Canon disappointed me this year. Canon normally makes excellent products. It's almost all of their stuff are home runs, but they kind of dropped the ball a little this year with their PowerShot N product. It was an attempt to make a smaller point-and-shoot camera. Uh, but what they did is they actually decreased it to a cube, almost cube-like form factor that is extremely difficult to hold. But and really, honestly, with you know the rise of you know camera phones and those improving at the pace they are, you don't really need point and shoots to be as small. You need them to be good. Well, I have to say I was disappointed by Verizon's keynote. Mm -hmm. um, I always like listening to CEO Lowell McAdam. He has some cool ideas, but. He really talked very generally this year about three big growth areas for Verizon that they're looking to get into, and they were healthcare, sustainability, and education. Not really big bombshells here. Well, generally, one of the best parts of CES is getting a look at sort of the, the innovation future type products, which aren't coming out anytime soon, if at all, but are sort of a hint of future technology. And But with that territory comes products which just don't make any sense. So this year, Panasonic produced a 20-inch tablet with a 4K screen which is very technologically impressive, but even beyond the fact that it has these really powerful guts, it makes no sense why they would even want to produce that as a concept because who really is going to use a you know 20 inch tablet? But you can't really imagine someone, you know, walking around holding a 20 inch tablet reading, you know, the New York Times. Yeah, it's probably something that nobody normal will ever use in their lives. Sometimes the end of the worst are almost as fun to check out yeah, as the best. Definitely.